Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. We continue now with our special News 8 team coverage of the tragic shootings at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown. As we all know by now, that senseless act of violence left 20 children and six adults dead on Friday morning. News 8's Aaron Cox live in Newtown at Treadwell Park, where a state police briefing is about to be held. Aaron. Hey, good afternoon, Keith. You can see from the microphones behind me, a lot of reporters here again wanting to hear information. We were told a briefing would start about noon, but the lieutenant is not here yet. So we've got a few minutes to tell you what the lieutenant told us this morning, basically revealing who they're talking to at this point, who they still want to talk to as they develop a timeline and a motive and trace the weapons that were used in the attack on the elementary school on Friday. Again, state police questioned a lot this morning about a possible motive. Again, not revealing anything about why Adam Lanza may have walked into that school, deciding to shoot and kill 20 children as well as six adults. We did learn from state police this morning. They are speaking to other children from the school. They're survivors calling them important witnesses. Also, the two adults that were shot in the school and taken to the hospital immediately after the attack, detectives are wanting to talk to them, calling them also very important in the investigation. But they also want to hear from anyone who had, may have had contact with this gunman, be it a medical professional or even folks at gun ranges. They admit they are checking into gun ranges. They're also doing a lot of computer checks on cell phones. The school is still considered a crime scene, expected to be so for months. Meantime, all the other kids in Newtown go back to school on Tuesday. The plan is to try to resume uh, normalcy for school classes tomorrow, except for those members at the Sandy Hook School. Uh, they will be excused, of course, until further notice, and they're developing plans on how to best handle that um, as we speak. We are possessing that school. We are holding that school as a crime scene indefinitely. And I can't even tell you what that means. I don't know how long that'll be. I'm suspecting months. And uh, at that time, it's up to the town officials to determine exactly uh, what's appropriate with that facility. State police also revealing to us this morning they are adding more Connecticut State Troopers to the families of these young children and the victims of the shooting. They're going to make sure there are extra state troopers also with the funerals again, asking everyone to respect the privacy of the families involved. Again, Keith, we expect Lieutenant Paul Vance to speak to us shortly. His car still hasn't pulled into the parking lot. He said noontime, but he's gathering information. And of course, when he does speak and come up to the microphones, we'll bring it to our viewers live. For now, we're live this afternoon in Newtown. I'm Erin Cox, News 8.